on the best friend I will find in you. And even in the hard way, even when we fail. All right, hello, I am back. Let me get this message off. Where are you? Don't do it, so. Don't do it, baby boy. Oh, it's already unpinned? Oops. So don't go on the keyboard. So. I don't know if anybody's still here with me. My account does not want to work so. Even when the tears flow, even when the Baby, so. I want on that keyboard so bad, don't you? Even when the Come here, baby. Where are you trying to go? Sister, oh, Vestasia's here. Welcome. How was your Easter? Hang on one second, and then I, I mean, I'm right here. I just mean the music will pause for a second while I get my earbuds in. <laughs> Now four. Oh. Lovers Are you still driving right now? Every dream will be hand in hand. I wouldn't change. Oh, okay. What do you eat when you're on the road? Do you stop to eat? Or do you bring food? Do you have like a sort of food system or something or what? What is that?
I didn't think so. Yep, I made another little dress. You bought some Brahmas, though, so I think 20 pound rooster made the turn. Oh, excuse me, hawks. Yeah, I would hope so. When the winds begin to blow. Yeah, we'll see you when the winds begin to blow. Yeah, we'll see you when the winds begin to blow. Okay, I need to get rid of my freaking hiccups. Juniper, don't do it, buddy. Oh, you're full of birds. You're full of birds. First time I met you. So I was thinking, but she was so good to us. Excuse me, sir. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of 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 you better share new life all my life. This is Robin's, so those aren't Robin's, all right. I ordered the biggest dog kennel I could find for a chicken run. Oh, okay, I see, to like keep them enclosed, you mean, so nothing gets to them. Yeah, I knew well. You told me your name. Going to put a roof on. I had, yeah, I used to have, uh, when we lived in Sioux Falls, that's what we had for a chicken run, too. And it did have the cover. I'm just going to write down some, uh, measurements here. Well, let's, where's that other piece of wood at? I think it's over here. Over here, yeah. It wasn't supposed to go this way. Today, so I have this piece of white birch next to me. 
that I'd like to use. And let's see how long it is. The 12 gauge takes care of skunks and opossum, but I haven't shot at hawks. Oh, I just, I, I, uh, actually on the same stream, it's funny that you're talking about killing opossums. I was just, um, saying, uh, <coughs> telling the story of how I rescued and rehabilitated an entire castle of tiny little baby opossums. And the last one just died last month that was non-releasable. Wasn't supposed to go this way. This is a little over the twelve and a quarter inch. Okay. Well, let's see what that. Yeah. Okay. Except will it fit on? I just ordered some more hooks. Oh, you know what? I keep saying I keep forgetting I need to flip this. Um did I throw away that Hang on. One second. I mean, I'm going to do it right here. Right here. Is it is indeed. Maybe more. Out on the highway. I don't go to kill just to kill. I just, just need to protect my butt. No, I completely understand that. Yeah. I have never seen an apostle walk through a chicken, though. Heading straight. I'm sure it's happened, but I've never seen or heard of it. If you see the lights flash, have you had it happen? The and a possum actually go after a chicken? Chicks, sure, but like a full-grown chicken? What was I just going to look up? Oh, I need to... Yeah, I need to do this. Can I just put that? Make it if we share. Yesterday is far away, and tomorrow you'll be gone. It wasn't supposed to go this way. Sweet, 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 sweet Thursday. So did your wife, you said she had a pretty crazy day. Was that all the craziness? She just, um, she got the fence back working and put up the, uh, streamers. I suppose we should probably take this down before it falls. Oh no. The twinkle in your eyes, the way the time slows down. Okay, we're under construction for a moment here. Bear with me, please. I just need to flip that so it's actually usable as a hook. You don't ever have to look too far. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, open up my bite their feet off if the chicken loops on the floor. Oh, I, yeah, I could see that. They do love chicken feet. Yeah, why do they tighten it so much? I figured I would not have to be taking it apart when I 
set it up, but I set it up backwards. Ow, that was my toe. Yeah, 14 acre field moving cows twice and then two hours driving for supplies. Oh, geez. Yeah. That sounds like a day for sure. There, now it could be actually hung on. Who would have sunk it? What it's actually made for it can be used. I wish it was a little angled more though. It's pretty, it's not straight up, but it's like, uh, like a, if this is straight up, it's like right here. At least it'll still hold snow, so that's all that matters. A bottle of wine and the talk won't stop. Be sure that I'll be here all night. So it's time you Yeah, much better. I can finally hang it. Yes. Love it. I need to have my husband uh trim this. And your love caresses me and the Let's see, where am I gonna put you? It's not about mm. reality, just a glimpse into a fantasy. On the other side, you meet me. Oh, here, yeah. Remember, I was way too tired to even exist last night. This is the one that I was starting when I ended. When we left. I just finished. I know I already showed it to you, but this is what I was starting. Her Fitbit said she walked 5.9 miles yesterday, 4.7 miles today. And I imagine that's probably just her like walking around the property and the, you said she had to get supplies and that. Uh oh, I don't like how this ended up hanging. Now this is like, I don't know if you can tell, but this is kind of tilted forward should be like that. And I glued it. But I probably pulled the glue off because it's hot. Light, she'll set us free from this dream reality. We'll walk the way on the desert sand. That's where I want I guess I can deal with that later. That makes sense. It's so not bad. important. <laughs> Okay, I have one, two, three, four, seven hooks now. That's six, not seven. I can't count. Okay, much better, yay. Okay, now where are all my S hooks? There's two, three, what? Where's my S hooks? I can't remember what it's like. I don't happen to know where I heat the glue again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh, I can probably just peel it off, but I don't know if you can tell. 
detail is hanging kind of forward like this, but I glued it here and here, obviously. I want it to hang like this, not like that. Because you see how you can kind of see the glue? Nothing in the world's gonna beat this high. What if I can yeah, I can just pull it off. Maybe. I don't know. When I'm with you I just want it to hang this. It's funny to think. <laughs> I'd like to try that. So this was, I, I know you don't care about this stuff, but I'm just talking out loud, talking at you anyway. So these are called like little easy rose knots. Here, let me show you compared to what I made. So I don't even know if you remember this one from the other day that I made. These are berry knots. I'm waiting for the camera to, there we go. These are berry knots. And if you look at this, to that. When I'm with you, there's no reason for These ones are berry nuts too, but you loop extra yarn over so that it looks, looks more like a rose. But I think that this would look really nice kind of on a larger scale, if you know what I mean, so that it would look more like a bigger rose. But they are very similar. I mean, it's one's just with that looped over it, so. All right, this is gonna be in my way. Why was it not in my way before? Was it patty corner? Seriously though, what did I put? Where did I put the S hooks? Because there's only one, two, three. I'm missing three, and I just had them all. Nastasia, you didn't happen to see where I put the S hooks, did you? Probably not. Why would you think of that? Why didn't I pay attention to that? This is not. I know you're like a car truck guy. Do you ever work with, like, do any woodworking or anything like that? Oh, these are missing. Maybe the S hooks are on here. So that's called the little rainbow. You're a horrible carpenter, really. That surprises me. I figured you would be good at it. Obviously, you must stick to mechanics. Okay, where are the freaking S hooks? I wish I could believe. Trying hard. When the night is I lost the belt for my dress, so I had to tie a freaking macrame cord for it. Alright, I'm looking under here. Do you have Oh, there's a bunch of wood under here. Not a bunch. Oh. Wishing star. Living with dawn. 
Should I do a mini or a medium? I'm thinking medium. I did build a chicken coop from my mind, but it was made a lot. But you made a lot of mistakes. I think I could build a better one now. Yeah, usually I feel like that a lot too when I try to build stuff and that, like, after you're done with it or, you know, it's just not, uh, you think of all the things you could have done differently to do it better. Or even making something, not necessarily building too. I feel like that always happens. Hindsight's 2020, right? Okay, well I'm missing one book, but I guess I can. Bring me down. 
Um, and then that's what I needed to do was urgent. And I lost my pen to Vestasia. I'm losing everything today. Just lost my hooks. I lost my pen. I can't find anywhere. Apparently my mind I lost. I don't understand where the pen went though, because it was always right with this notebook right here or something. Here's my tape manager. Oh, there it is. I found the pen. Yay. Alright, let's do some math version. What do I need to convert? A meter is how many inches? 39.37 No finish line The demons tell me I should quit and turn back The smallest right, way you can is... the darkest night Sure, you don't know to keep them off my track Uh oh, what do I just do? Oh, what the heck did it? Why is it doing this? It shouldn't be doing this. <clears throat> The controls that are usually here are not here, and I don't understand. Like the volume? Why is this being... Let me just X out of it and maybe pull it back up. But like the volume settings are... All of that is not here. Use it. Hey, Jojo! <laughs> You're probably too high or something and thought he was telling you to turn your music down. Okay, yeah, it's way up. Holy smokes, how did it get up so high? Is that better? Or does it need to go down more? <laughs> he does have that ESPN, so watch out. How's the volume now? Now a notch, a little lower still. Good 
did that change anything? Is it okay now? Or down more? A little? Here, let me talk from over here too, so you, like, but not right next to the mic. How about now? It's still as loud as you? Is it still as loud as me now? Well, if it would play a song. Sorry, I'm just waiting for the song to actually play so we can tell if it's okay. <clears throat> This one's going to have no words, probably. I don't know, even know what's playing. Yeah, that's not going to have words. Maybe this one will? If it wasn't horrible before, just a little intense. Well, Better now though, yeah? Or no? Still down a bit? like more where it's normally at. It was, you were right, it was turned way up because all the controls were gone. That's better, okay. Yeah, this sound, like in my earbuds, it sounds more like where it's usually at. Then I don't have to scream over it. Or think I need to scream over it. All right. You have me maxed out and you, your music maxed out and I can still hear, so you can still hear me. But you're also used to this. Okay, well I think it's good. Okay, that's gone. Good, I ate. I'm thinking, bigger scale of this, but also a lot more detail. But this one was, this, yeah, that has a diamond. Did you, you have, you had off today, Jojo? I think you said. So what'd you do with your day then? Let me look at this pattern. I'm just looking at a pattern right now. 
Um, 50 centimeters. How long is 50 centimeters? Twenty, 19.6. Hold on, it's a mission to type. Like your day was that intense or you are having a hard time typing? Okay. I'm just writing down, I need to convert, this pattern is in, um, metric, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh, now my pen doesn't want to work, are you freaking kidding me right now? I don't know why I thought bringing the light and the pen into the light would make it work, but it actually did. I know that's not why, but it is. Alright, let's still... Well, what the hell kind of shit is that? How are you gonna tell me? Okay. So what I say, 50 centimeters, I said what is, excuse me, 20 inches? I don't think I have a 20 inch anything, but I have 12, so that will work. It's hard to get longer. Uh, this I'm saving for something. Mm. Or I could make JoJo's. Do you want me to make yours off stream, Jojo, so you don't know, or do you wanna um, want me to make it on stream? <laughs> Hold on. Sage guinea pig. What does that mean? I'm a guinea pig? I drove around for a few hours, then went to Walmart, got steaks and fruit. Ah, the steak gotcha. You got six. Also had to buy a cast iron and spatula, cooked, cleaned, smoked, ate pineapple, then smoked some more. I love how you just randomly include that you ate pineapple in between smoking. Alright, so let's do the damn thing. But I don't know if you heard my question, Jojo. Do you want me to make yours off stream? Or do you want me to stream making it? Like, do you want it to be a surprise? Copy and paste all dimensions to me and I will try to get them all converted. Okay, well how long is... I always prepare my food when I'm smoking and I knew I was going to want pineapple. Smart. Hey, your name just changed colors. Why is my chat not on screen again? The cats keep deleting all my scenes and layers, and I'm getting sick of it. Yeah, now it just doesn't exist. My whole chat box just doesn't exist now.
Won't let me copy text, lame. US chat get to convert, it's easier. Chat GPT, what? I feel like I'm in geometry again because I'm lost as fuck. That's all right. We all are. It's okay, I don't need anything. I just uh, don't know if you heard the question that I asked you a few times or not. That's to Jojo. You. The wall hanging that I'm doing for you, do you want me to do it on stream? Or do you want me, do you want it to be a surprise and have me do it off stream? Oh, it's up to you. I'm cool with whatever. Well, that doesn't help me at all. Okay. Up to me. Then I'm gonna do... Let's see here. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. I don't know either. Should have done the 1 to 10 method. What does that mean? I don't know what that is. that like a pick a number one to ten and then the one through five is a yes or one through five through ten it's a no wait is this the exact same thing no. 55 centimeters is how many inches 21 Hmm. 
What did I say that? Two years ago I was with this one girl, was a sweetheart at the start that then kinda went psycho, texted her, pick a number, she chose and I blocked her, Angelo, and then found that hilarious. Well, I mean, that, okay, that's a very specific, uh, you let, you let her pick her demise of being in a relationship with you by picking a number, not knowing what she was picking. <laughs> you, you're crazy, man. Alright, how long did I say this was? 25 ish. We like this piece, maybe there's a different one. That's a thick boy, that needs to be sanded. Fate. That, that's, that was fate. So you just never talked to her again after that? She didn't even know what she, like, you didn't even let her know what she picked? You just blocked her? used a coin toss to quit a job. So you you did quit then? It landed on quit? <laughs> the hell? Okay, 
Let dry 10 minutes between coats and 24 hours between handling. Okay, so 24 hours. So I shouldn't do that right now then. So I'll just stick with a uh, towel, I guess. You've never given a job a two weeks notice? You've just been like, yo, I'm out, see ya? Keyboard cat, hang on. Ponies. My man's just getting his turkey leg by any means necessary. Can you tell me about some kid asking for photos before and for you to show the leg tattoo? Yeah, I did. It was, uh, somebody came on and they were like, somebody came on, what'd they say? They were like, oh, first they're like, fit check. And I was like, well, I'm wearing a men's shirt and blue jeans, as you can obviously see. And then they're like, can I see your tattoos? I'll donate $20 or something like that. And then they did like a fake donate thing. And then, um, they, uh, kept asking to see, I was like, yeah, you can see my tattoos, like, here's my arm. And then they were like, uh, donate more, or I'll donate 80 if you show, ow, Luna, thank you. They were like, I'll donate 80 bucks if you show me your, or then they're like, some, I don't know, if they kept throwing in like I'll donate 50, I'll donate 80 and acting like they kept doing messages that were acting like fake donations but they kept typing messages that were trying to act like they were donating money. It was like 20, 40, 50, 80 and stuff and then uh, they're like like tattoos. I'm like I'm wearing jeans. You can't see them and it just says pieces every step and there's like a mountain back there. And I have this stupid one that I hate. So 
they're like, uh, they're like, let me see your chest. And I was like, yeah, it's, you can see it. And they're like, no, take just, just whole chest. And I'm like, that is my whole chest. And they're like, uh, take your shirt off, just bra. And I'm like, there are, I guarantee you, 200 e-girls on here that are in their bikinis or bras right now, go find them. I'm not that type of streamer. And then I had to ban them because they wouldn't stop. So that was that. My man's rolling in his grave knowing you're showing your calf tat. Oh, yeah, too bad they're banned, huh? Was it you, Jojo? You're being suspicious now. Was it you? Basically, they just wanted me to take my shirt off is what it was. That's all it came down to. Which, I don't know why you'd ask somebody to take their shirt off when there's literally hundreds of streamers with their shirt off already on. Now I've never asked a girl on Twitch to randomly take their shirt off when I work, I work behind the scenes. Well, that's what I mean, like, I feel like you created a fake account to get me in my bra. <clears throat> I'm just kidding, I don't actually think it was you. It was like the the username was like rich girl something. Damn, I felt mad accused. Behind the scenes. Fifty and base. Fifth base. My brain tried to imagine what the hell. Fifty and I was thinking that too, Jojo. I'm like, he's going to some ancient times or something that I don't know what what it is and what is that. Okay, what the hell did I decide I was doing anyway? Luna is the star of the show. Let me get out of her way. Oh man, are you typing on your phone? Because I cannot type on my phone. I butcher everything I'm ever trying to say. <clears throat> yeah, I hate typing on my phone too. It, it, it just doesn't work. Okay, what was it now? 50 center. Okay, it's 21 inches, but I'm looking for 12 inches. Do not. I want chocolate milk. 
Otherfill has made me send the most vile shit to people before. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. I hate it. My phone also hates me because. Do you want an autofill message? LOL. <laughs> Pick the first word. Giraffe. I'm going through a rough time and I'm trying not to make any progress with honey, but... <laughs> Alright. like a very funny <laughs> but sounds like she's worth it. Let's see, let's just do like um Draft is a great resource to help you find a good job in this area. <laughs> nice! I guess we just need some giraffes. <clears throat> We do gray, light, medium, or dark gray. Let's do dark.
Sad to see you go to the hospital and not be able to go to the doctor for a couple days because of the coronavirus. That's an interesting one because you're at the hospital but you can't aren't able to go to the doctor. How about green? As your word, I mean, not what I'm doing. Green, like the color green. Green Bay is a good team and they have a lot of talent in the locker room and they have a good defense. <laughs> a lot of fun in the locker room, Trust me, the guy's locker room is hilarious. Yeah, I will take your word for that. I can assume it might, may be. I asked chatbot GPT for artsy girl pickup line. Are you a medium? Because I'd like to paint you on carpet. <laughs> the fuck?
No, I know. I was just. I, I heard you. I, or I read that where you got these. We're doing pickup lines. Excuse me. I'm lost. Can you drive me? Can you give me some directions? Where? Back to your place. I asked the AI to come up with them. I was just curious what a robot would say. I would drag you to a museum, but they said not to touch the masterpieces. Oh, I like that one. Damn, most of my pickup lines are not appropriate. Or are they just like straight on uh, nastiness or what? Nah, but like dark humor, not sexual at all. I guess I don't understand them. What would you ask an AI? Why did McDonald's get rid of their chicken wraps? McDonald's had chicken wraps? They had the best chicken wraps? What do you mean by wrap? Like tortilla and then a chicken tender or something was inside it? Oh, I think I had that like way back when, right? And it had ranch or something in it? Or am I thinking of somewhere else? Just like Wendy's used to have great boneless wings. Are you an antiques collector? Because I have some junk that hasn't been touched on it.
that some shit my grandpa would use. <laughs> completely block this with this? No. Oh, this board is less than a millimeter, feels like. Y'all never get the most random mem- Y'all ever get the most random memories? Yes, all the time. Especially when I'm trying to go to sleep at night. Or like some random thing will remind me of something. Just like throughout the day. According to the web, McDonald's got rid of their chicken wraps for several reasons. Some of them are they were too complicated and time consuming to make, which allow which slowed down the service and annoyed the franchises. Didn't sell well as customers didn't want healthy options from McDonald's. They had to compete with the popularity of all day breakfast and other menu items. Yeah, but they don't even have all day breakfast anymore. And I would think that fast food, like, if you have to go to a fast food restaurant, you should have some healthy options for people that want healthy options, and that's the only place they can go at them. I understand them being time consuming, but those... Shits would kill right now. Yeah, a chicken wrap does sound really good right now. I'm going to ask chat. Got G chat GPT to make up a reason. What's the best fast food sandwich slash burger? Arby's double beef and cheddar sandwich. Fries suck, but you don't need them. I like the curly fries. I prefer, well you won't agree with this, I prefer if I was going to get that, I would just get the double roast beef and then the side of cheddar so that I don't get the um, onion bun or the sauce on the sandwich. Because I, I like, I would put ranch with the cheese. McDonald's canceled chicken wrap because they ran out of chickens. 
They tried to use other birds, but customers complained that the duck wrap was too greasy, the turkey wrap was too dry, and the ostrich wrap was too big. You eat the sandwich dry. No, I just said I would get the, the liquid cheese and, and ranch. McDonald's canceled chicken wrap because they realized it was a spelling mistake. They meant to call it chicken wrap and it was supposed to be a musical promotion, but when they heard the raps that the chickens wrote, they were so bad that they had to scrap the whole idea. That one's cute answer. McDonald's checked canceled chicken wrap because they found out that the tortillas they were using were actually made of recycled paper. That's probably not unlikely. They had to recall all the wraps and issue an apology to the customers who ate them. They also had to pay a fine for violating the environmental laws. Yogurt parfaits also underrated. Never had one from McDonald's. McDonald's canceled chicken wrap because they were sued by a rapper named MC Rap. He claimed that they stole his name and his style and he demanded royalties for every rap sold. McDonald's tried to settle the case, but MC Rap refused to accept anything less than a lifetime supply of nuggets. Understandable, really. People love those nugs. I remember my grandpa was into the filet fishes and would always order me them, kind of grew on me. Never had one of those either, but I remember like my mom always would get the, well, of course, during Lent, Catholic, so she'd get the filet of fish or whatever on Fridays. But I think they purposely went there on Fridays during Lent. As of that, so they must have liked them. The fact that an AI created those jokes is impressive. Yeah, I mean, AI is... AI is kind of uh, getting pretty advanced everywhere these days. Post Malone got me flown right now. Post Malone got me flown right now. What's that noise? Hang on, I have a feeling one of my dogs is doing something. It was not a dog, it's our skylight leaking. You want to joke about Post Malone? Well, yeah, of course.
I told this to play hip hop. Why is it just playing beats and not songs? <laughs> Why do you call Post Malone when he's... What do you call Post Malone? How does Post Malone... Well done. Not gonna lie, my dumbass to the age of 15 all would always order well done because I thought anything else was raw. Gross. Why did Post Malone go to the dentist? Because he had too many grills. How does a stoner that listens to Post Malone get high? By taking a hit of the blunts and Bentley. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no, no. One second. I'll be right back. Please keep joking it though. Wait. What does this 
What did the stoner that listens to Post Malone say when he ran out of weed? I'm better now. Ugh. Why did the stoner that listens to Post Malone get arrested? Because he was caught with a bag of white inversions? I don't get that. Iversions. I don't get that one. Hey, you guys, please don't leave me. I just have to go fix, um, our skylight is leaking, you know, and it just started dripping in another area, so I just have to go get another, um, Tupperware thing to catch the water, but it's, like, dripping really bad right now, so please don't leave me.
You didn't leave me? Thank you. Or maybe Jojo did. Oh, he didn't. Thank you. Oh my god, the leak is so bad all of a sudden. My gosh, there's a lot of jokes here. How does a girl who makes macrame flirt? She says, want to hang out. <laughs> What do you call a girl who makes macrame a naughty? Oh, that's funny. What did the girl who makes macrame say when she finished her that's her rap? Why did the girl who makes macrame break up with her boyfriend because he was too afraid? Why did the stoner go to the Mexican restaurant because he heard they had hot nachos? I don't know, the humor gets thinner as it goes, but still AI is crazy. Watch X Machina. Thank you for sticking around. So the roofing guy actually finally came yesterday and it's just our skylights. The, he said our roof will last longer than we we're gonna be alive. So that's good, but he needs a dry day to uh, get up on the roof to reseal our skylights. Um, but right now, it must be raining pretty hard. Oh yeah, it's really raining. Um, so I have three of those, you know, the big plastic totes that you use like for moving or storage or whatever. I have three of those out right now catching the drips. I wonder if it's supposed to be, it hasn't rained this, it's rained more this week than I think it's rained all year. Let me look at the weather forecast. Okay, it shouldn't rain on Thursday, it says. 50% chance, or 50% Wednesday, 80% percent today, Monday 100 percent, Tuesday 90, 50. So it shouldn't rain Thursday through Sunday. So that's good anyway. <clears throat> Maybe he can get out here one of those days. Let me get my earbuds in here. Oh shit, I forgot to grab my vitamins. Didn't poke a hole in there. Oh come on. Okay, I guess maybe I need to take some water out first. I've seen it but it's been a while. Scary, these are sharp scissors. All right. Don't wear too hard, my break a backbone. Return of the Mac, the king is back though. Corbin and Cassian, but all you guys. She saw the song, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that call. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. All I really take is a little taste. Alan girl, blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I need a chase, sir. I'm about to get get away. She be shaking, I get the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this. Grabbing my vitamins, be right back. This for the time, got time for no day. Watch out, you guys. I'm going too crazy, and I got bad ones, and they ready. A good time, so now it's in the whip. We left that. Can't remember anything, but I know we got lit. Yellow light, I gotta speed up. Get home, so we go 
Fresh out, need that, pronto. Look, look like a rave at the condo. Heck of a night in Toronto. She said, boy, you in Morocco. For a white mansion in the South go. Fill up my cup with the pop, whoa. High off life in the spot, though. Running at the visa, really talking to a real life Mona Lisa. Jesus piece is hanging off the fleece. So much going on, it's hard to focus on the features. I got one. too many, I'm going. Two. Too crazy, and I got Three. bad ones, and they ready. Four. A good time, so now we Five. see. In the week, we left that. Can't remember anything, but I know we got late, 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 late. Good times. Live in the moment, feel like summertime. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, I hope that, uh... Yeah. I'm getting my earbuds in. The music might stop, I'm not sure. I don't think it's really... It's just playing, like, background beats, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just making sure that uh, Yash has checked the up because he's uh, so my office is downstairs on like this side of the house, the very corner of this side, and his office is upstairs on the very corner of this side of the house. So I don't think he can hear what's happening in the living room, but there's also been. Um, the skylight in the guest bedroom upstairs, not his office, but the guest bedroom upstairs had a little leak at one point, so I don't know if it still is leaking up there or if it is again, but it's, uh, I just want to make sure I get to type in his chat because he's streaming right now to make sure that he has something under it if it is leaking. It is leaking like crazy in the living room. And we just, of course, had all of our fucking floors replaced. So it's leaking all of all over the floor. Do we work? What, do you guys work? Wait, you don't think this is work? Yeah, he works. He's a... Uh... <clears throat> Gosh, what is his actual title? Senior Solutions Architect, I believe is his official title, but he's a computer scientist, computer engineer, computer developer, all of the above, anything with a computer. That's what he does. Um, I was in nursing and different roles at a hospital before I met him, and then when I moved to South Dakota, I didn't work. I had worked at the same hospital for like, what, six, seven years? And then I moved to South Dakota, didn't work. Um, I started my Ella, my company in South Dakota for selling macrame plants. And then, yeah, I don't have to work. Um, I like to do macrame though, so. I like doing it, so I sell it and that, and that's why I started the company. Um, and he's always worked from home. He actually started his own company, and that's why he was able to work from home. And then from there, um, he got hired on to uh, this really big company that owns, like, works with all of the huge, huge, huge ass, like Google, NASA, all of them. Um, they work with them. But now, when he when they hired him full time, they actually let him keep his own business as well. So that was really nice. Um, the American Dream, yeah. So my job is that's why we're able to have like all of the animals, and that is because that's I can do that. He works, and he doesn't have to leave. Like he just works from home. 
always work from home. He never has to not work from home, you know, so. Well, he does go to, I shouldn't say that. He does go to conferences sometimes. That's actually where I met him. Well, I met him on Tinder while he was at a conference, but <laughs> that's besides the point. He will go and speak at conferences sometimes. Um, but other than that, like it's not required really. They just like him sometimes or attend big events like that. The American Dream. Yes, I'm here with the goats and dogs and cats. I take care of the animals wholly, solely, wholly. Both of those work, I guess. And the house and him, basically. He is technically disabled. Um, but you wouldn't know it unless you knew it. Um, he hides the pain very well. Um, Wish I could drive my truck for <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice, huh? So yeah, I, I've always wanted to, like I've gone to school for so many different things and I did work for a credit union. I worked for Boeing um, prior to my mom getting diagnosed with cancer, but then I quit because they didn't want to let me, like I worked from home anyway, but they didn't want me. And they said that I could work out of state for up to six months. But then when it came down to it, they were like, no. And I was like, okay, well then I need to take a leave. And they're like, no, basically. And I was like, okay, well then I'm quitting because I'm going to go take care of my mother. It's dying. So I quit and I, they, they would, were said that they would hire me back, but I don't care to work for somebody that doesn't care about you in a time like that. So, yeah, that's that. And, uh, yeah. I've thought about, like, going back to the hospital and working and stuff, but now with everything, it just creeps me out. Why not? I don't feel like I need to do that <laughs> anymore. I'm good where I'm at, at home. I have the freedom to do what I love and enjoy. Thanks to him. Love you. Love you. Love you so much. I know you can't hear me, but um, yeah, he is uh, the sole supporter of our, I mean, obviously I do this and stuff, but it's not like I make bank off of it or anything. Just make probably whatever. It doesn't matter how much I make, but <laughs> uh, we have our animals and I'm super excited because the goats are pregnant so we get baby goats and then we're gonna uh, have milk. We'll have goat milk so then I'll be able to make goat milk soap and all the other stuff that comes along with goat milk so that's I'm really excited about that. But yeah we want to be able to have any you know of like of the outdoor animals if if I had like a normal job I don't think he wouldn't be able he'd be home but he wouldn't be able to do anything take care of them so that's our story like he can't even go like right now he wouldn't even be able to walk out there because it's wet and muddy and stuff it's too unstable for him to walk on he can walk by the way i'm not saying that he can't walk <laughs> just to make that clear he did he has cmt i think i told you that jojo maybe is a disease called cmt which is it's similar to muscular dystrophy, um, but it doesn't, it affects the nerves that affect the muscles instead of affecting the muscles, if that makes sense. Sorry, I'm just going to type a message to him stream to make sure that he did get his affiliate. Did I tell you that, Jojo? Yeah, you know that.
Yeah, I think I thought I had told you. Oh, did he leave? I thought I was talking to him, but maybe he left. He just he, he hates me now because he can't drive his truck from home. <clears throat> Oh, okay, he's here. The point of that was just that, yeah, I need him to check the guest room up there to make sure that skylight isn't leaking because the one down here is like really bad. <laughs> Jojo, did you do? Oh no, you told me you got a steak in that and pineapple. I wonder if you did anything. Isn't that kind of how you guys are too, Vistasia? Though, because your wife is at home taking care of like the farm and everything, and you're and not that you're working from home, so that sucks. It'd be much better if you uh, work from home. I always go silent if you tell me something I don't know. Oh, okay. So you were just listening. <clears throat> yeah, I was talking about Yesh and he, or Silky, and he, that's what I was talking about, obviously. As I just read about 2000s words about, oh, you looked it up. Yeah, it's really, um, it's, it's, a. Uh, yeah, I remember Jojo, because we showed you that painting and stuff. Um. It's really sad because it's one of those, like muscular, it, it can get progressive, but also um, it's like one of the hill, hidden um, disabilities. So it's really sad because people expect you to be able to do this or that. Like, like if I need help carrying something super heavy or building something really big or something like that and I have a husband and they're like well why the fuck can't your husband help you because his disease is invisible you don't under you know you don't understand his abilities so it's sad my wife is a writer and oh she's a writer I didn't know that what does she write <clears throat> Okay, good. The guest bedroom isn't leaking. Did my camera move? Is there a cat in the window? Oh, Ryan, what are you doing? Did my camera move, though? Hang on, let me step out the way. Or am I just tripping? I feel like my camera moved. So we're making a triangle down and then a triangle up. Oh no, is this cord gonna make it? She is writing some romance werewolf thing. Oh, like, um, what's that series that everybody was going crazy over? Um, what is it? Is it Twilight? I don't know, I never read them. I never got into the vampire thing, but... I think it's Twilight, right? Does she have, um, does she have, like, published books and stuff?
Also, speaking of writing, Jojo, how are your lyrics coming along? And another about a rich city chick who moves to the country to get away from family romance thing. So but she sounds like she writes a lot of romance, just different types or like different settings of romance. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Turning dreams into reality In the lab with the formula and chemistry Your memories spark and motivate And make the industry shake You put the bars in the place I'm talking one One chance at best, yes Painting pictures for the culture Keep the brush expression Flip the cover with the drum of passion Never Not yet, but we're hoping this year She has Not yet, but we're hoping this year She has completed Oh, like it's published this year? Or it just completes what she's working on now. Hey, we have lyrics, finally. Why? Oh, is that the is that a cat or is that the rain? Sorry, everything I keep thinking is an animal messing with stuff. Oh, that is an animal. What you doing, bud? What are you doing, you little nutball? Are you scared of the rain? Come here, bud. You okay? Oh, you little scaredy cat. She's like 40k words into the werewolf one, 70k as a goal. Well, hey, that's over halfway there then. That's awesome. Maybe Jojo left. Well, if she does uh, end up, like I said, I've never read like the Twilight series or any of those werewolf ones or anything, but if it's, you know, I would obviously, if she gets her work completed and published and everything, I would definitely like to know about it because I would read it. I do like reading. Oh, Jojo, I just asked, um, I said, speaking of writing, how are your lyrics going? So what I'm, I know you, neither of you are into macrame or anything, but just to explain this is a very basic easy pattern thing that I put in there. Just because I made this side real. Simple Yeah, please do let me know, Vestasia. Haven't touched them since the last time. Oh, okay. But you got pretty far the last time, didn't you? I still need to take your, um suggestion or uh, what do you call that advice and do the journaling thing why am i keep doing this haven't touched them since the last time yeah like halfway well that's good 
are you like the type that just kind of gets into the group sometimes and then other times you just don't feel like it and you just wait till you feel like it again? Only write down my oh do you write down your like do you wake up like if you wake up in the middle of the night and you were dreaming do you stop and pick up your like notebook or whatever and write down your dreams it's not that I'm not in the mood it's more like I don't want to rush what I want to say yeah that makes sense also you want to like when the inspiration hits too you want to like that's the time to do it. Yeah, so you do wake up right when right when you're having the dream. I've been meaning to try to. I used to do that, um, but yeah, I, I I used to do that. I would love to do it again, but I I guess I should just put a notebook by my bed, like on the bedside table or whatever, and start doing it again because I loved when I I used to do that, and so now yeah, like like JoJo said, I can't. Like, I, I know I'll have just had, like, a crazy dream or an amazing one or a horrible one or whatever it may be, and then I just can't remember it for the life of me. I should start doing that. So I need to start journaling, and I need to start dream journaling. Who would have thunk you two are so inspiring? That sounded horrible. I didn't mean to say that as if... I'm sorry, I take that back. Obviously, it's so inspiring. Oddly often I wake up and don't remember writing a whole page. Oh wow, yeah, I bet. I, I, I used to uh, do that too because it just became a habit when I would dream to write. So then I'd uh, go back there or not even remember that I had written it and read it and I'd be like, what? That was a, actually, I really liked doing it. Glad you brought that up. But yeah, did it, is it you that told me, Jojo, that smoking before bed um, greatly decreases your dreaming? I don't know if that's a fact, but for me, when I'm smoking, I swear I don't dream. Yeah. I thought it was you that had said that, and I feel like it might be. I don't know if it's a fact or not either, but I feel like that's the same for me, too. Because I used to dream, like, crazy dreams all night. I'd have such, like, in-depth dreams, and that's why I'd write them down and stuff. But now I feel like I, I still, I do dream, but I don't feel like I dream as much as I used to. And I didn't smoke right now. You can use it to lucid lucid dream if you repeat the same dream. Have you do you lucid dream? Are you able to do that, Pastasia? I prefer it that way. I feel like if I were to dream, I'd be exhausted. Not dreaming, I can function on four hours. Of sleep. Okay, that's valid. Yeah, because you you get the deeper four hours of sleep. 
you must go into the deeper state of, of uh, the state of actual deep sleep, I mean. I don't know, I personally kind of miss it because I liked having, I liked, uh, my dreams were very interesting. I want to put the, I can't, kind of can't put that right like, This is such thin cord. This is not, I know that this was ordered as three millimeters, but it is not here. I guess I'll just move. Edgar, quit whining, please. <laughs> or do it louder. Do you need to go potty? <laughs> I think that's a yes. Does it weird you out when I say Edgar because that's your brother's name? Or when I talk to Edgar? I have before, but not regularly. How was it? Because I don't think, I don't think that I've, no, I'm pretty sure I've never done it. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess I need to let Edgar out. You, can you hear him? Edgar, you have to go potty? I assume you can probably hear him, right? He like honks, squeaks. Okay, buddy, I'm letting you out, okay. Okay, he's really weird and anxious, so I'm gonna let him out the front door because he's being really weird about here with all the stuff in here. Be right back. I wonder why my earbuds aren't charging all of a sudden. That's weird. Oh, but the music did stop, so they're acting like they're charging. I'll turn that back on. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys.
Did my cats do something crazy? Should have not left that open like that. Oh, did you guys leave? Or did this end? If you're here, can you say something? Because I'm not sure if the cats that somebody got on the keyboard, I'm not sure what they did. Thank you, Vestasia. I'm just trying to figure out what the heck they did. Okay, I think Jojo left. That's okay. I did I just wasn't sure if like the cat I'm I'm not sure what they did. There was a very weird thing in the scene on the monitor. Yeah, I know. I always forget. I can keep them off of it, but I always forget when I leave. Like, especially then, because Edgar was crazy, honky, whiny. Didn't do something. Please do not lift my dress up. Thank you. <clears throat> And I just need to find a Kleenex. I swear I had a box right here. Oh, it's over there. It said like tin foil the bottom, put tape upside down on the bottom, or um, what was the other one? Put like citrus fruits around your tree or whatever. And it was just, I think I had just Beetle at the time, and he didn't care. He still went after the tree. He just wants to climb, they all just want to climb the Christmas tree. Milk jug in the tub? What? What do you mean, milk jug in the tub? What does that mean?
why will it not allow the word spazzed? Oh, ableism. Simba, when she was a kitten, got her foot stuck on tape and spazzed out, so now she just tries to eat it. <laughs> Milk job in the tub. Oh, I thought we were talking ways to smoke. <laughs> what? That's funny. Do you smoke? Pistachia? Nobody asked you, Juniper. Nope, I didn't think you did. My first time smoking was out of an apple. The first and only time I smoked out of an apple was with my dad. Not the first time I ever smoked, but I mean, with out of an apple. Smoke bowl of song is great. Never smoked with family, but I have bought drugs for my grandma and aunt. Oh yeah, you were telling me about your grandma. My dad, um, I used to smoke with my dad. And that was like when he was going through his chemo and stuff. The only way, because he couldn't smoke, he had lung cancer, and the only way that he was able to eat was we used to have to make him um, hot tea, and then it, once he drank the tea, he was able to eat, but other than that, that was the only way he could eat, because he obviously, you know, with the cancer, lung cancer of anything, he couldn't smoke it anymore. Dad was more of a drinker, you could tell he was happy. I was able to keep up, drink more than him. My other brothers tap out after two years. Oh, how many brothers do you have? I, for some reason, I thought you only had one. You have two older brothers, and then um, Edgar is younger than you, or he's older than you? Oh, so they're both, so Edgar, okay. Edgar's the one that lives with you, right? Or am I wrong? Play that. Hang on, I don't even have my earbuds in. Did you want the video up or just the song? Oh, 
Okay. My other brother Dylan is has a family somewhere. Funny how I'm a godparent to his two kids, but haven't talked to the dude in years. Oh, you just don't. Just like he's focused on his family, so you guys don't talk anymore, or. I don't talk to any family anymore besides my mom and bro. Oh, okay. That's sad, or maybe not. I don't know. I guess it depends on your situation. Only sad if you make it. I have no feelings towards it. Yeah, that's why I said that's sad or maybe not because I wasn't sure how you felt about it. But yeah, if it it just is what it is if you don't care about it, you know. <clears throat> How is your brother that uh, we're helping and stuff? Is that like going okay? Are you is, are you actually helping him? Not like are you doing the part, but like is he taking to it or not? I talk to my stepdad more than any of the rest of my family. I have a stepdad, um, he's actually, like, both of my biological parents passed away. Uh, they were divorced when I was three, and my step, my mom remarried right away to my stepdad, so he's been in my life as far as I can remember. Um, but my, it's really sad because my stepdad is, um, he is 82, and he has... Um, like the beginning, he's had the beginning stages of dementia for a few years now, but then since my mom died, it's like pushed him way more into it, so it's sad. I still I make sure I call him because he always means to call, but he forgets, so I always make sure I call him. Mm. 
I know you're talking about Edgar, but I don't know what you wanted to know. Oh, I just know that you had mentioned like you stayed back to kind of help him out and stuff, but I didn't know if he was like taking to that or I asked if you were how it was going with helping him out, if it was working, I guess, or if he's taking to it is I guess is what I mean. I don't know what I'm trying to ask. I'm asking in a weird way. I'm trying to ask in a weird way to not be like too personal and intrusive, I guess, but. I guess the only, I don't really only talk to my, in my family, I do, like I said, I call my stepdad just to make sure he's doing okay because it's kind of like lost now without my mom, you know, but I do talk to my brother because we're kind of all we have. I do have two older, um, stepsisters as well, but we never like lived together or anything because they're much older than me. And uh, I don't know, I guess they kind of just stopped. Like they were messaging me a lot after my mom died, but then that kind of just stopped, I guess. I don't know. They're probably focused on their dad and kind of keep in touch with them to make sure okay. <laughs> He's still weird as fuck and I'll probably be taking care of him forever, but he's working and got a girlfriend, so at least he's doing something. Well, that's good, anyway. I mean, it's the good part, You feel like, you f like you mean you feel like you're gonna throw up? I literally was, if that's what you mean, I literally feel like I'm about to go throw up right now. <laughs> I just got like really hot and I'm feeling very nauseated all of a sudden. Actually, yeah, I think I am going to be sick. I'll be right back. What the hell? Designers, they 
tell my system down Tried so hard to keep you out I went crazy by myself Crying alone Spaced out Staring at the ceiling Talk to my demons Ask for a reason why I feel the way I'm feeling If I'm the one who cheated on the sex without no meaning I like to keep a heart safe and my stop beating Now I try so hard to stay medicated So I don't have to face the wrong I've done I take these enemies They turn my system down Try so hard to keep you Try so hard to stay medicated so I don't have to face the wrong I've done mm, to you. They made these enemies. They made me enemies. Such a terrible system. Enemies. Such a enemies. Such a.
if you're still here. Guess they don't blame me if you're not. Oh, I just left because I had to, I was getting sick. <laughs> vitamins without I have to take them directly as I'm eating. I'm pretty sure that's why I just got some. <laughs> about niggas watching ain't no hot now smoking big dope when i'm riding out you ain't getting what you lying about it was first vine now it's the clout instagram with the hype about let a nigga go and act up fuck around and bring them lines out and then i also drink dairy so that doesn't help anything i'm reading pain like the army just for the time we were starving yeah stomach aches got me heartless yeah i was jugging in and out the market hey i ain't choose this lifestyle this how it all started <clears throat> I'm 
Excuse me. I had to go high from the Jakes. I gotta make right decisions. Everyone go make mistakes. How you gonna take from your brother and turn a smile in his face? Gang, you trying to get out of character, get put right in your place. It's hard to be clean forever. Everyone gonna make mistakes. And if the cops put me over, it might just turn to a chase. Said you was, I might just do the race and self drive in the Tesla. Now I got a gun, cause he say he ain't a wrestler. Wow. You said that you a shooter, well, I guess I'ma keep testing you. Wow. Wow. I'm only beefing by money, I'm like a cash cow. Like a cash I cow. see they peeping, I'm coming up and they ask how. They ask she won the party with me and bro got her ass out. I told her if she keep popping Zannies, then she wow. I, I just wanna out. win dreams of all of butter in, but I'm addicted to the streets, so I know that I'm a sin. If I die, my life start over, I'ma do this shit again. Sharks, you a fish cut off your fin. Couple wow, niggas wow, locked, wow, might not wow, see they light again. I got a couple wow, niggas dead, mama bury in the kin. Pull up 50 wow, shots, I'ma only give them 10. Pass <coughs> me the rock, shoot at the buzzer, I'ma win. Started pouring Remy, cause I'm getting sick of him. If I write a book about my life, don't know where I begin. Couple L's thrown at me, I took them on the chin. Used to see me taking losses, they surprised a nigga win. The longer I live, I'ma lose myself. And if I had to choose me or you, then I'ma choose myself. A higher power in mind is worth me more than wealth. Hit a couple licks on your brody, I gotta use my scalp. Foreign belt, wrapped around my jeans, it's hard to hold my pants up. You gon' have to lock some socks up, I can't get my bands up. My I tell I'd rather die, no, I can't get my mans up. Go ahead and try to pull it, hope your shit don't jam up. Remember been in the blocks, I had to go high from the jakes. I gotta make right 
decisions, everyone gon' make mistakes. How you gon' take from your brother and turn a smile in his face? You tryna get out of character, get put right in your place. It's hard to be clean forever, everyone gon' make mistakes. And it is cost for me over, it might just turn to a chase. Yeah, I know what the fuck is going on, man. Flow so brim, 5-9, prime time, upstate, heavy hitter. Ville boys. You don't want no smoke, don't want no jazz, nigga. Got the fully automatic with the extra right. mag, nigga. Super Mario, the way I smash, nigga. I be going hard, drink, or put your shit on blast, nigga. 50,000 in the fucking stash, nigga. Got about a hundred hundreds in the fucking dash, nigga. If you a op, then we on your ass, nigga. Bullets chop a nigga down. See a sand walker shoot him in his lip. Oh shit, got his baby mama sucking dick for a tip. Yeah, I'm five nine, bitches prime time for Leo Prim. Prim Leo, my April shoot you nine times. 69, it was good. 93 was even better. Rip it down on my bitch and make that pussy even wetter. Prim Leo, on my apes, they gon' say for Leo Brim, a Brim Leo. On my apes, they gon' say for Leo Brim, a Brim Leo. On my apes, they gon' say for Leo Brim, it's five nine, prime time. Who the fuck is them? You don't want no smoke, don't want no jazz, nigga. Got the fully automatic with the extra mag, nigga. Super Mario, the way I smash, nigga. I be going hard, drink, or put your shit on blast, nigga. 50,000 in the fucking stash, nigga. Got about a hundred hundreds in the fucking dash, nigga. If you a op, then we on your ass, nigga. Bullets chop a nigga down like I'm mowing grass, nigga. What the fuck? Fuck is these niggas talking about, man? Young Mal on the track, Vil Boy VNT, POS, go a lot of gang shit, nigga. Think I'm broke, you a silly nigga, smack you silly nigga. If you see me, you don't speak, that me, you don't feel me, nigga. I don't feel you like I'm me, poppin' hella willies, nigga. Cody K, that's a week. See him, I'm a building, nigga. Bloody chains all on my feet. They think I'm a city, nigga. Pay this dollar for my feet, just to go get jiggy. And it's from the door, that's 30 hops. I be with some gritty niggas. If you sticky, you a hop, come get this dollar.
Turning dreams into reality In the lab with the formula and chemistry Your memories spark to motivate And make the industry shake You broke the bars and the brakes I'm talking one One chance at best, yes Painting pictures for the culture Keep the brushes fresh Took the cover, broke the drum of passion Never rest Freedom is a teacher under pressure Now we bless See, I was so close with the go It's one off, one shot Now the future is yours Go Yeah it's one all one shot, now the future is yours, go! The lighting just changed in this room all of a sudden, or am I actually... Thank you. 
thinking what are you thinking about really share worthy like it's not important enough or what I think everything's important enough whether you mean like maybe too personal to share too personal gotcha understood Not important. No, LMAO, there's nothing too personal with me. Well, how you're think you're sitting there thinking about it, so it's gotta have some importance. Okay, well now I feel like you have to share if it's not important. Or 
is it just like a daily task? I'm overthinking it. I overthink everything, so. Like, I think why I like the feel of my pillow. Like, the touch. You're thinking about why you like the touch of your pillow? Is it one that you brought with you, or is it a hotel pillow? It's a sensory thing. That's why you like it. Are you high also? Hotel pillow. Yeah, see, if you get the good hotel pillows, they're great. I was just going to say, you're also high, so that probably adds to the sensory part of it, right? And maybe it's just a fucking good pillow, man. I have very specific pillows that I have to use. Like, that's like what you're talking about. You think, why do you like this? I have to use my specific pillows. I was feeling really sick and dizzy and weird and I'm just sitting here like then I sit here and get anxiety about it like I'm I have really bad anxiety and stuff so I was like oh my god everybody left me I have nobody to talk to please tell me about your pillow tell me about anything tell me about your sock I don't care nah it's weird I don't know how to explain it hmm so like is it different is there something different about it You want Molly or something? <laughs> what? surgery and everyone thought I was going to die. I remember touching everything I could get a hold of. It's like feeling on a molecular level. On a molecular level. I get what you're saying. I mean, obviously I've never had, not obviously, but I've never had um, brain surgery or anything. Surgery, but that had to be really, t okay, for your surgery, was it, it was brain surgery, right? Are you, hmm, this is interesting now. Um, it's my in, you think? But one, 
No, your brain was. Oh, okay. So it wasn't brain surgery. Were you awake for the surgery? They had to crack my skull to drain a blood clot. Okay, that's right. It was a blood clot. I remember now. Sorry, you know, you know I have the... <clears throat> You're put under too dumb. Okay. That's like one of my biggest fears is having to have a surgery because I'm awake. Also, my actual biggest fear is my eye. Like not just getting something in my eye, but like being stabbed in the eye. I've been put under eight times. Oh, dude, I love anesthesia. Seriously, it's the best thing ever. I've had, uh, how many times have I had surgery? <clears throat> I've had, well, it was technically two, like, times that I was put under for sinus surgery, but they did, like, multiple surgeries at once with it. I had, like, six or seven or eight technical sinus surgeries, but only two put unders, and then I've had, like, an endoscopy and my belly button and stuff. I. Okay, I know that's so weird to say, but I love anesthesia. Everybody thinks I'm like absolutely insane or something. I say that, so I just not mention that ever, but it's just like, yeah, you know, you've been put under eight times, you know what I Waking up not knowing where the fuck you are. I remember when I had my wisdom teeth pulled and I woke up trying to walk and face. Oh no! They had to wheelchair me out. So I haven't had my wisdom teeth out. Is it different? Like I always see, you know, you see the videos of like people recording people so hilarious after um, getting their wisdom teeth out. Is it a completely different? Uh, do they use normal anesthesia like they do for surgeries, or is it like a different drug that they use for your wisdom teeth? Or a different combination of drugs, I guess. Um, cool. It's definitely different, I think. This shit was mad funny when I woke up. So I wonder if it's like a mix of, uh... Because that, it's, that's what I always thought, it well, that it was different. Because, like, I've been under anesthesia several times. Not as many as you, but definitely at least three to four. And I've never had, like, the experiences like you see when people get their wisdom teeth. I do need to get a wisdom. I miss it. I was born, so I don't know how to, I have a very small mouth and I was born missing teeth. Um, so I'm missing, I think my bo bottom wisdom teeth, I think it is. I'm missing a bunch of random teeth, but um, not like I have, I'm not, I don't, not noticeably, 
I just have fewer teeth than everybody else because apparently my jaw doesn't have room for them, so they just didn't grow. But my tooth next to my front tooth is a fake tooth, actually, because all of these teeth were over here, and that one was missing. So they made me get, which is stupid now, I really wish they wouldn't have done it, because they made my teeth were perfectly straight. But they made me get braces to pull all these teeth back so that they could put an implant in there. Why, I don't know. But I actually am having, I have a wisdom tooth up here. And because my jaw is so small, um, it's pushing my very back molar. Like you can feel it sticking out on the side, the very tip of the tooth. But it's also pushing my back top molar down farther than it should be. So I'm going to have to have surgery to probably remove, I don't know, I guess both of the teeth maybe because there's no bottom one there, like where that area is because I'm missing that one as well. So there's nothing to push against. So my tooth, your teeth stop, you know, coming out and growing farther out because you have other teeth to press against them. But this one doesn't have that, so it's just going to keep going down and eventually it will go into my gums. So I'm going to either have to have an implant put in the bottom or that tooth removed. But I do need to have the wisdom tooth on top of it removed. I have just been completely putting off going to the oral surgeon to get that started because I am terrified of dentists. I'm not terrified of them. I've just had like the worst pain I've ever been in in my life was getting that implant. Cause what they, have you ever had a tooth implant? Probably not. I don't know why you would. Have unless something like that happened but what they do is they um, they stick a an actual screw up into your jaw you still have some baby teeth yeah see that's the other thing like I had baby teeth like that's why I'm now just getting some of my adult teeth or my wisdom teeth is because I, I, mine were very delayed and stuff but I uh, when you get an implant, what they do is they put like an actual rod, but a screw. So it's actually screwed in. Well, I don't know if they do it differently nowadays, but when I got mine done, it's a screw up into your, like through your gums into your jawbone, I believe. And they actually sit there and screw it by hand. Or at least that's what they did for me. But like I said, it was the worst excruciating pain I've ever been in in my life um, because the oral surgeon that I had at the, I was like a young teen, maybe not even teen yet, tween or something. Um, so I was very like shy and bashful and wouldn't speak up for myself or anything. Um, but the surgeon was a very elderly man and he didn't numb me all the way up. So once he got to a certain point, I felt every single little turn and I was like, tears were just dripping from my eyes. It was, oh my God, it was so fucking horrible. And then, so that caused me to obviously hate anything to do with the dentist. And then when we were in Sioux Falls, I went to the dentist and I had a cavity. And again, he didn't numb me all the way. And um, I was like tapping him like, hey, also they put a fucking mouth guard. So I couldn't like, so I was holding my mouth open, never had that at a dentist ever. And so that I hated to begin with. Um, but they put that in so I couldn't move or actually talk, plus he's working in my mouth. So I'm just back here again, like tears are dripping from my eyes. And I'm like tapping him and waving my arms and stuff like, hey, hey, trying to tell him it's not numb, it's not numb, quit. And he's just sitting there like, oh, it's okay. I know it probably hurts. It's almost done. You're almost done. I'm like, no, you fucking asshole. But I couldn't talk because of the goddamn mouth guard they put in me. So now I just like, I was finally fine going to the dentist again. And then they re freaking did it again. So now I, if I go to the dentist, I just want to be put out. 
sedate me and then you can do whatever you want, but make sure I'm fucking actually sedated. Okay, that sounds horrible. You can do the dental work that you want. Nothing further than that, but just sedate me. So you still have baby teeth. Do you have the adult teeth and that's why you have baby teeth? I mean, do you, are you missing the adult teeth? And that's why your baby teeth didn't come out? Or are they just slowly coming in? Oh, and you'll still lose them. Yeah, no, I, the, after I said it, I was like, I should not have just said that. Dennis said they're just taking a while falling out, but my mouth is normal. I do have a fifth wisdom tooth. Interesting. So what? So that's another thing that's really weird. So I had x-rays done at the dentist um, before this tooth came down and stuff, the wisdom tooth or whatever it is. Um, I had x-rays done and then the next, and there was no tooth or anything up there in the x-ray and then the next time I had x-rays done which was not that far after not that long after that tooth was there what? what's that? I don't know. Oh, uh, I don't know why I found that hilarious. Ryan, you better get out of that plant, boy. I keep forgetting that that's dripping in the living room and the dog, I keep thinking the dogs are getting into something, but it's just the leak. Sunlight, skylight. 
You feel like shit? I'm sorry, I also feel like shit. Just like out of nowhere all of a sudden they just feel horrible. That's why I had to sit down for a minute there. All, all of a sudden, I don't know what the I actually threw up and stuff too. Just out of, like, what the fuck? I don't know what happened. I got super dizzy, hot, and had to get sick. No, it's cool. I'm sorry, you feel like shit. What do you feel like? What what's what do you mean by you feel like shit? What's wrong? Dizzy, hot, shoulder hurts, feel like, it feels like I'm falling. That's kind of, I don't have the shoulder, but that's like exactly what I just felt like too. Except I actually fucked too. Um, your heart okay? Your heart doesn't feel good, right? up a little. Your chest doesn't hurt though, right? <clears throat> My, that's from the, yeah, the heart rate of this one. Oh yeah, I can remember. It's gonna be fun. Have you been drinking? Only when I'm thirsty. Oh, whatever, Jojo. Fucking nutball.
Oh my God, Jojo, were you here the other night when I fell out of my chair? Right here, I fell over. Were you here? See that? I want to watch it again now. It's fucking hilarious. I don't know why I just remembered that. Oh my god, go to my, uh, whenever, go to my page and go to the clips. Yes, she clipped it for me. It's just like probably 10 seconds long or something. There's one clip in there that was a mistake that I did. I don't know how to delete it, but I guess I just forgot about it. I go back to delete it, but it would have been clipped by Silky Root. Seriously though, it was so hilarious. I was laughing. I could not stop laughing afterwards. Must have been what, Friday or something? Friday night maybe? Friday night? I don't How the fuck did you fall forward? That's my life. I don't know. But isn't it hilarious? It, is, it was fucking hilarious. I have no idea how it happened. That's literally, I do that type of shit all day, every day. And no, I wasn't drinking or that was just sober. I ended up staying up to like 5 a.m. that day. It's not I, like I used to go to bed like be asleep by nine. So full schedule. Somehow. Sounds good right now. You feel sick, but whiskey. So well, I guess that's what they. Uh, what my dad used to give me whiskey when you have a cold or when you're sick. Is sounds bad. I was a kid. Out of something. You have whiskey, don't you? My dad used to make me Long Islands when I couldn't sleep and give me vodka shots. I guess interesting. Yeah, my dad always gave me. Uh, it was a dark liquor. I don't remember. Maybe it was brand. I don't know, I don't like, well, I was a child. It was one of the dark liquors 
um, that he used to give me when I was sick and had, had a cold and fever or whatever it was. That always did make me feel better, but also it probably was just because I probably got drunk or didn't want to sleep. If somebody did that these days, they'd probably be in trouble. Hang on, I gotta drink, get a drink of water and then I'm gonna read that. hooked on NyQuil, I drank like half a bottle a night to the point where my dad banned NyQuil from the house. Were you like addicted, like were you using it to sleep or were you like using it to get high from? Baby, you think a little too small. I got big goals, baby. Ain't hey, where the money at? Look, I just need the info. Pronto, I go and get it. It's split it with my kinfolk daily. And I'm the type of new. Where my children are. mostly. Yeah, that's how you read. A little bit of both, but you started doing it because you sleep. I always heard a lot of people doing that when I was, uh, actually, uh, when I was working at the hospital, a lot of nurses would, uh, Take NyQuil when they were not sick to go to sleep. It's weird because they now make like this well, that's just that. Apparently, I just thought about that too. Probably just trying to get high. <laughs> I did a sleep study when I was in high school. Turns out I wake up around 700 times a night and rarely reach REM. Just prescribed sleeping pills and dad won't let me take them. Oh. So now my body is adapted to work a little to no sleep. Oh, I am horrible on little to no sleep. I need sleep so bad for my body and mind to function properly. And I have not been getting good sleep. Oh jeez, well since November I guess, um, oh I've just been like a hot mess, that's I also don't get, I don't feel hunger anymore so that's a huge issue, but I don't get the feeling of hunger anymore all of a sudden, if I don't know what I'm supposed to be. I know that sounds stupid, obviously you're supposed to just be here every meal a day, but I don't because my body no longer tells me. I only get hungry when I smoke, I have no appetite. That maybe, you know what, that's true because I do like, uh, you know, like before bed I smoke and then I, then I do feel hungry, but other than that, not. I like just have to. 
Hey, you tied in it. Jennifer, I have a feeling something. Oh. Why are these all frayed all of a sudden? This is like. How is this? Is like a double. What? Are you shitting me? This better not ruin this whole thing now that I just noticed all this. I'm gonna have to adjust this. That now? What the? <clears throat> Where's my water soaker? You drank six beers today and that was it. Like just recently in a row or like just randomly throughout the day? Great sweat, what? Great sweatable. Oh, hey, thank you for the follow. How are you? Welcome. During dinner. Was that your steak dinner? That's what I was checking. Oh, okay, so it's just like... Wait, whoa, 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 wait. You drank six beers while you were eating dinner? Like, you drank them all whilst eating? Good morning, may call me great. Great sweat of fault is for Sundays, holidays, and special appearances. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome, great. How are you? And you said good morning, so you must be in... Oh, geez. Where would you be? UK? Australia? within that time frame. That's uh, in France, having breakfast. Nice French breakfast, that sounds great. How long did it take you to eat dinner? How do you down that, are you just down the beers that quick while you're eating? Cause you told me you eat fast. What are you having for breakfast? <laughs> Should I do another little guy? I feel like yes. I had two steaks and a side salad about 20 to 30 minutes max. So you drink three beer or six beers in 20 to 30 minutes? Slices toasted bread, a slice of cheese, some homemade cherry plum jam, a cup of coffee, and a fruit. Today, a banana. That sounds like a very nice breakfast. Cherry, homemade cherry plum jam. I'm not big into um, jam, but it's, I think that I would be. It's just that I haven't tried it all that often for some reason. But cherry plum sounds absolutely delicious. Yeah, it's not that bad. Actually refreshing. You gotta understand they used to drink hard liquor all day, so beer is based. I thought you said you didn't like beer. Or maybe you said that it was 
Oh, you don't like IPAs. That's what it is, right? You're making me want breakfast, uh, great. IPAs can go down. What do you not like about IPAs? Why do you hate them so much? Oh my gosh, I'm like shaking right now. What is going on? It is. It is sweet with a little sourness and just a dash of awesome. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. The cherry plum. That's why I was thinking that combo sounds really good because it's not. I think that's why I tend to stay away from most of them. It's because I just think like super overly sweet when I think of them. But that sounds delicious. I have to suffer through four IPAs to get rid of the taste of the pine. And very, very little sugar. Yeah, I think I would really like that then. I don't like, um, unless I am really craving something like, like a candy or something sweet, I don't like, with the exception of drinks, that's a bad habit of mine. I do drink, like this is just pure sugar, you know, but other than that, I'm not a big sweet. But that sounds really good. I don't think I've heard that come. I'm surprised you don't like IPAs because they're stronger. You so IPAs don't taste like water, they just taste like pine. My heart condition doesn't allow me to have sugary so Oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm sorry that you have a heart condition. That has to be rough to deal with. easy to deal with or manage. I've drank in plenty of IPAs in my time, but I don't enjoy it. It feels like a job. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, if you... Aren't you the one that said that you don't drink alcohol for the taste, though? Because I, I was saying how, like, I don't... I very rarely drink, um... I especially very rarely drink, drink um, liquor, so because I think I was saying that if, if I had to drink liquor, it would be um, vodka, but a good quality vodka, and you would don't drink taste. But yeah, I guess we, well, no, that sees those are still valid point because I don't like the taste of vodka. Um, I would drink it like in a Bloody Mary or a mixed drink or whatever, but you just can't get over the pine taste. Is no worries, I'm retired from day job and only have to enjoy my life. No more. Oh, you're retired. Well, that's good then. Yeah, that makes that has to make your heart condition a lot better than much less stress. Much is better on the heart. What did you um, retire from, if you don't mind me asking? What did you do prior to retiring? Most IPIs I've drank in a night was for my affiliate stream. I did a drinking contest down 12 IPAs before they cut me off. Who cut you off? Like your friends? 
12 IPAs? That's insane, bro. That's a lot. And why were you drinking IPAs if you don't like them for that? Or was that the thing that you... I don't know what I want to do with this. I'm just, I've just been doing it. I don't really know what I want to actually do. I guess I was talking a little too much shit. The guy who challenged me only drinks high kids. Oh, I see. You were a tech teacher for adults. Now I'm an artist drawing for... Oh, very cool. What kind of art do you do? I know you said drawing. Do you do, um, like, pencil sketch? Or what type of art do you do? Or what kind of drawing, I mean. Or maybe, like, what subjects like to draw like a I love meeting I love meeting artists and artists so many like different things uh not things so many different forms of art I find so interesting Like this cord right here. What is happening with this? Don't know. What? The way you're way down there, we probably won't need you anyway, so that's okay. So if you ever see me drink or make the comment, I'll go to hell with you. I'm re I'll go to hell with you. I'm referring to the IPA night. Okay, I'm low key fucking with this song. This one or the one before? Sorry, I just read this. Drawing chaos and abstract stuff with ink, fountain pens, ballpoint pens, deep pen. May I share? Please share. Also, yeah, this song is actually pretty good. My earbuds are about to die, which sucks. Um, uh, my husband and I are super into fountain pens as well. Um, we're not, we're like just trying to teach ourselves how to draw. And of course we chose fountain pens because we like fountain pens. Um, so we just like doodle around and try, he, I just doodle around and kind of do, you know, more of like, like you're saying more abstract stuff, but, um, he actually tries to do like, he'll try to do like Japanese tree or something like that, but we love fountain pen art. I want to look at your Insta. You need to know what this song is? I'll put it in chat for you. I don't know why I'm typing to you when I'm right here. I'm dancing. Sorry, I want to look at your Instagram. Oh no, my phone's gonna die too? Oh, go to the app. Oh, very cool stuff you do. Big pen, really. Wow. 
I love your art. I just have to say, I absolutely love this. You're um, extremely talented, I just have to say. It's like right up my alley of art I like. Did the music just stop or did my ear buds die? I'm gonna give you a follow. Oh shoot, I don't know if I just followed you on my personal or my macrame account. I'm not sure which this is on. Oh, it's my macrame account. Rooted in Knots, that's my macrame um, Insta. So that was me that followed you. My earbuds died, didn't they? No, seriously, this is like, this is amazing. You're very good at what you do. I see, uh, I see why you do that for fun. You're really good at it. That's, I, I really, like I said, me and my husband really, really, especially found pen, but I saw a lot of yours aren't found pen, which is fine, obviously, but just that in general, phenomenal. Is there music playing for you right now, or did it shut it off? Why aren't they charging? Charge, you little beast. Jojo, are you still here? Is anybody still here? If you could tell me if there's music playing or not, I would greatly appreciate it. I guess I'll check myself then. Okay, there is music playing. Yeah, thank you, um, Greats, for sharing that. My biggest talent and superpower is patience. Some call me Dr. Patiento. Others call me Captain Patience. Patience is a very good superpower to have. I wish I had that as a superpower. Is my video blurry all of a sudden? Or is it just this screen? That's cool. Right, so, great. Like the, um, the last one that you had You've had 60 plus years to practice. Well, I guess practice makes perfect, right? Isn't that what they say? So this last, um, this red one, oops, I got out of the app. The one that you posted six days ago, <clears throat> like how long, first of all, what size is that? I see it's three pieces, it looks like. Um, how long does it take you? Like, how long did that take you? Hours and hours and hours or days. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, what do I want to do here? Midnight. Uh, 
as the time. Oh, it's five pieces. Wow. Took about 150 hours. That's incredible. Yeah, talk about patience. There's your patience right there, that's for sure. Five. Done with red, pink, and black big pen. That's great. Really, really good. Hmm. I don't know what to do. So I started making this and I didn't really know what I was going to do with it. I thought I was going to end up doing this and then just the opposite triangle down. Then I did this and now I feel like it needs little tassels or something over here. Also, this is much thinner. So this, I ordered this and it said it was three millimeters, which is what I usually use my cords like these are all three millimeters but this is very obviously not it's much thinner what do I want to do oh did you go listen to the song again I wonder if my earbuds are actually oh they're not even plugged into or they're not in their case where's my earbud what the heck I only have one earbud all of a sudden and it's not in its case. I just put it in the case. There we go. Oh, it probably is not lighting up maybe because it actually fully died. Maybe that's why. Kitty took it. I would not be surprised. Oh, you've listened to it three times now, Jojo? Well, I'm glad that you like it. I feel like I should add, um, I feel like I need to add a dangle. Like I'm just looking at somebody else's work here on a similar piece. Um, Maybe I should add a little dangle. <clears throat> and then I could... Oh, interesting. Huh, maybe, let's see here. Well, I'm just going to do this. Which way did I go that way? I'm surprised Juniper, this is Juniper. He's usually all over trying to help me. I'm very surprised he's not trying to help me tonight. I don't think he, he's only touched my cords like twice, I think. Usually he's not stopped. So great, is that what you do for um for fun and stuff? You uh not just, but you you like to draw? Is there do you do anything do you do you stream or do do anything like that while you're drawing? If he's still here, I don't know, I guess.
Sorry, my dogs are freaking out really bad at the front door, like somebody's here. And then also my livestock dogs outside are freaking out. So I'm trying to see if somebody's here, but it's also midnight, so nobody should be here. So I'm just checking that real quick. Because it's very weird and odd, and I feel like, like we kind of live in the middle of nowhere, so let's not... Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna open this door if something happens. Your witnesses.
So I'm just trying to figure out which way the livestock dogs are barking toward.
Okay, sorry about that. I have no idea what that was all about. All of the indoor dogs were going crazy. The outdoor dogs were going crazy. I had to go all around the house and look outside, but it's all pitch black because we live in the middle of the woods. So I don't know what was going on, but it was not like a normal, if there was an animal or predator animal in the yard type of them barking, especially with the indoor dogs. So I still don't know what it was, but that's why I just look so weird, crazy going from window to window. Like, a, I don't know, like I was, I don't know. But that's what, that's what was just happening. Okay. Aliens. I draw, I, I repair old bags and transform them. I do not stream. I also do photographs. Beginner, sorry for the bad thing. Oh, no worries about the English. I can understand what you're saying completely fine. Oh, hey, Coral. Just having a low energy day today, so I'm here to chill. Well, welcome. Oh, by the way, I got a band for you to listen to if we still do that, Cave Town. I will listen to that. Unfortunately, my earbuds just died, so that's why I don't have them in, so I can't hear whatever's playing. I don't even know what's playing. Um, but I will have to. Let me screenshot that. Remember? Or next time you come in, remind me. I'm out of coffee. I was able to have just one by, by scraping out some old jars and now I'm truly out. Hopefully I'll get a few out of the nearly empty jar a friend is bringing in a few minutes. Oh no! Okay, well that's a little scary. Oh good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was a little... It was freaky. Especially how all of the dogs were acting. Um, so yeah, it was not a normal... Uh, not a normal occurrence, you know, they, the uh, livestock dogs bark, that's what they do, but to have them going how they were, like, directly at the same area and everything, like somebody was out there, and then to have them going outside also, that's what was, uh, freaking me out a little bit. So, yeah, I probably looked paranoid and everything, but I need to make sure we're safe here, you know? We live in the middle of nowhere, so it's not like that's a... It's not a normal occurrence, that's for sure. And, um, what was I going to reply to? Greats. That's very cool that you do all of that. Um, so do you repair old bags and transform them? Like, what type of bag? Like any type of bag or any specific type of bag? Or, and do, and a beginner photographer. That's very cool, too. You have very awesome interests. Coffee is basically medication for me. I use it to self-medicate ADHD and I'm basically non-functioning, non-functional without, yeah, I feel that. Um, yeah, like ca I drink caffeine all day to calm me down. Um, so yeah, I understand that. I'm not sure what ugly women no doubt sounds like a plastic surgeon oh you mean who was outside my house yeah I don't know what the heck was just going on but it was creepy Oh, what's the music that's playing maybe you're talking about? I don't know what you're talking about or referring to. Repair and transform old bell. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm following now. <laughs> gotcha, way over my head that one. All right, so yeah, I do apologize. I'm not sure what music's playing right now at the moment, but I wonder if my earbuds are actually charging because they weren't acting like they were charging either. The light's not on like it normally is when they're charging. Well, 
well, are they charging or not? Why is it? I don't understand. Is the connection not right? Put your light on so I know you're charging, please. Don't tell me you broke. I just got a new pair. Come on. Light up. Light up. I'm very sad they just, uh, died, too, because I was just getting groovy. Whatever it is, it's god-awful. Oh, I apologize for that. I'm not sure what it is. I just have it playing. I have some royalty-free whatever playing is what it is. It looks like it is... Uh, big Time Good Remix Instrumental Version by... I don't know, is it Skrill, 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 it's S-K-R-X-L-L-A, Skrill, 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 I don't know how to say that. I don't even know what this is on, to be completely honest with you. <clears throat> it's not bad per se, just not right for the atmosphere. Let's go to, let's see, what mood? There's playlists for moods. Uplifting, epic, powerful, exciting, happy, funny, carefree, sexy, groovy, playful, mysterious, peaceful, serious, dramatic, angry, tense, sad, scary, and dark. Any of those moods sit? I'm really hoping my earbuds are charging, but for some reason the light is not coming on like it normally does. So I can't tell if they freaking are or not, which is very annoying. Well, it could be my call, but I can't hear it, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, yeah, these I don't even think are charging, so maybe they're broken. Oh, uh, do I have another pair of... What the heck is going on? Now the case won't close? Well, okay, what happened here? Something happened, had to have happened. What is going on? These normally go in here and then they light up. They're charging. Why is this not lit up either? It just was. Okay, now the light's coming on. Now they're charging. Okay, there we go. Um, how about... Well, I just said I was grooving, so I wonder what groovy is. Uh, or mysterious? I'm not, I don't want sad or angry. Powerful, exciting, happy, funny, carefree, serious, dramatic. What did I say? Groovy? Okay, you can let me know how groovy is because I also don't know what And my earbuds usually charge pretty fast, so in a couple minutes or so, a few minutes, they should be fine to wear a little bit again. How's everybody doing? Today, night, morning, whatever, afternoon, what time, time, how's your time going?
Okay, we have coffee. Yay! Sage is hiding under a stool, staring at a wall. Not quite sure. Why is everybody acting so weird right now? You guys are weirding me out. I should make some matcha. I feel like a matcha. Oh, I need to send a text. Sorry, I was kind of half- Oh, no worries. Oh, all the animals are acting really weird. Um, so I told you about the dogs and what just happened with the dogs that was creepy and then Sage, my cat, was just in here underneath that little stool that I use sometimes, which is up against a wall, but she was like underneath the stool just staring at the wall. But that's, I mean, that's a cat thing, I guess, so cats do be weird sometimes. Oh, it is storming right now. It's, uh, it's raining anyway, I guess I should say. Our, uh, skylight is leaking really bad right now in our living room. And of course, it happens. We never had it leak before, but we just got all the flooring replaced. Um, so now, of course, it's, I have, you know, those big, um, storage totes. I have three of those sitting out to catch the water, but it's still not catching it all, so it's still going all over the floor, so that's fun. I wonder if I could fit. I don't know if I like the idea of white on here. I don't know if it too. I should have used that color if I wanted to add beads, though, I guess. I don't like that that's a different color than this. I should have used this one if I wanted to add this bead, I think. And I don't know that white would look good with it either. Let's see. I mean, white would probably be okay. Let's see. Well, do you like the white bead on this or no? I 
If anybody has an opinion, you tell me. Do you like the white bead on here or no bead? See if I can show you the color. So this is like a deep greenish blue turquoise you can't see. You like the bead? Because I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I just, I'm not sure if, I, if the white went with it. I didn't want to do the wood bead because the wood color doesn't match this, but white would be fine. You actually do like it. Okay. I'm just remembering my psychologist reaction when I explained that Finn the human from Adventure Time is Hannah, Hannah, Canonically, 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 schizophrenic. Canonically, I need to look that word up. Conforming to a general rule or acceptable procedure orthodox. Okay, gotcha. Officially in the story. Officially in the story, yeah, so canon has a couple meanings. Uh, yeah, I see that. I looked up the definition and I see the down there. I don't want to count. I wonder if my earbuds are turned. No, it's been two seconds. I have to be two. Oh wait. So, what was your um, psychologist's reaction? You said you just, you were just remembering it. What was the reaction? Oh, just that she thought it was a simple kid show and didn't realize it had such deep lore. Oh, gotcha. I feel like a lot of kids, um, 
I mean, I don't know. I haven't read any kids' stories recently or anything, or, or like even movies and stuff. They usually have a lot of more adult and like references and stuff like that. That, you know, kids don't get, but adults will. I was explaining about how it was actually post-apocalyptic and the Finn was supposedly the only surviving human <clears throat> after a mushroom bomb took out most of the planet and brought magic back thanks to the meddling of the lit, the personification of entropy, death, and decay. Oh wow, so your uh, psychologist was like, Whoa, I just thought this was some, and you're over here, like, explaining the entire meaning of the Yeah, haha, and I only have a surface knowledge, really. Well, it sounds like you have more than a surface knowledge. Hey, Lumines. Hey, little girl. Oh, hi, my name. Let me check and see if my earbuds have charged enough to do anything with. Forty percent, I think that'll work. Okay, so what was that again now? Let me look. Um, going up. Cave Town. Is that the name of, of the band? Yes, it is. Why do I not hear anything? Hang on. Are my earbuds disconnected all of a sudden from the computer? One moment, please. Go Bluetooth. Okay, why are my audio, they are connected. Okay, where is my source then?
is where to play sound. Now. Okay, they're working. Why is this? Oh, it's, it's muted? Oh, it's muted, dummy. Oh, sorry, I didn't see what you said. Start with... Boys will be bugged. Yeah, I think I, I don't, I'm not sure what was, oh, I had the, I had the site muted, that's why you couldn't hear it. I'm a dumb teen boy, I eat sticks and rocks and mud, I don't care about the government. All I was doing was I was kneeling down like this and she still had to sit on my lap. Oh, don't pull my dress up. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, we're down. Jesus. Hi, hi, hi. Do you want a shoulder cat? Hey, don't bite me. What is the matter with you? What do you want? I know you want me to hold you. you this isn't how we do that. No need. You can shoulder cat. You want a shoulder? What do you want, sweetheart? Okay, get down then. Well, you're playful. You need a toy. You hear it now though, right? strong but I'll fuck you up if you're mean to bugs yes I have friends who understand me. Their names are Spider Beetle B. I 
love that it keeps saying Beetle because it's obviously, obviously. Two trucks having sex. Two trucks having sex. Hey, isn't that the, this, the song from the other day? I must uh, switch bands. Yeah, I thought so. Let me put. Not that I don't like this, but I do want to hear more of the other band. Hey Kirby, how are you doing? Good evening, there's a burnt loaf on your seat. Is this some sort of Asian cuisine? He's not burnt. Look at her. have a lot of yeah I could see the crossover for sure I do just really want to hear uh, more of I only got one song so I want to hear more of Cape Town oh, oh no come on that's the right thing sorry I don't know why that just restarted three times She's purring like crazy now. That's all she wanted. Just likes me.
Okay, so they must use um, a lot of different bugs and stuff in their all their songs because I hear spiders in this one now. I have guessed that, yes. Oh, we can't move that fast, but then we can't stick the feet there. Love you. Oh, she's burned like crazy. Can't you throw this toy to her? Here you go. Yeah, Oh, I know this song. I need to cry, but I can't. actually really like this song. This is Cape Town? Yeah, I played Cape Town Mix. So I knew a song already, yay! I thought that Cape Town sounded familiar, but I was thinking maybe like I had just known a song called Cape Town or something. I didn't realize that I actually did know. I wonder if I know any more of their songs. Do maybe one size bigger bead for a bead right here, yeah? Or no? Yeah. But just one size bigger though. This is the same. Oops. I knew that was gonna happen. Sorry, I dropped the bead on your bum. I guess this is the only bigger one. Oh! There's a cat lover in the room with me. He's also Chinese, so the earlier joke didn't land so well. Oh, yes, that's, yeah, I, I bet not. Oh, sorry, I just stepped on you. Well, I do apologize for that. Um, at the beginning of this stream, I had, who was it in here? Recycling, and... They uh, brought some, one of their friends in so that I introduced all the cats because she was a big cat lover. Okay, well, okay, I'll leave it at okay. But 
if you want to see the cats in this room right now, I even brought down Willow and um, Opal, who are up in Yesha's office, because they're not spayed because they um, will be bred when they're of age. They go to the vet every month and everything to make sure all their health checks and stuff are good. Um, but I even brought them down to introduce. But I could do a quick who's in this room. This is Orion. Oh, yeah, like anybody. Oh, lighting. You better lighting up. There, stick your head right there. He has a mustache. Will it just? Good. I'm not strangling him, I promise. Did he catch Orion? Or is he watching right now? Your friend? The cat lover? Okay, well, if he wants me to introduce the cats that are in the room, I will. Just let me know. Oh, I just wanted to know if I, I was going to introduce the cats in the room to him if he wanted to see them. But if he doesn't, that's totally fine, too. No pressure whatsoever. porcelain face I can't really think right now in this place there's too many colors enough to drive all of us insane are you dead sometimes I think I'm dead cause I can feel ghosts and ghouls wrapping my head but I don't want to fall asleep just yet what was your first pet cat or dog do you mean um like as a child or like first pet ever my eyes went dark or do you mean like when i moved out what was my first pet? i don't know where in the first time my buddy i'm gonna move Mostly Maine Coon, and then like maybe a little bit just domestic, short hair, long hair, whatever. Oops, sorry, Loonies. This is Loonies. Well, this is Luna. She is Siamese. And she's the clingiest cat ever. They're super sweet and lovely. Yeah, look at you. Yeah, you're so sweet. We're touching noses. Oh my gosh. This is her actual brother from the same litter. Soul is actually the next cat that I'm going to show you. Soul is Luna's brother from the same litter. He's actually also Siamese. He looks happy though. This is Soul. Oh, look at the camera, bud. Hey, 
He has, like, instead of stripes, I don't know if you can tell, he has spots. Screeches instead of meows, so he, I call him Screech. The one with the mustache. He's got the little white mustache. He is a Scottish foal. And you are what? Maybe six or seven months old? Probably seven months old now? You've got boobies in your eyes. I know you don't like it, but you can't let him stay in there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, he's camera shy, I guess. Oh, jeez, be careful. Are you okay? Anybody else in here? Oh, Beetle's in here. Oh! This is Beetle. He's the oldest of all the cats. He's up to soul. Okay, well this is Beetle anyway. And he's the oldest. He's a crazy boy. He's a crazy boy. Look at you, you're just looking right at the camera, are you? Yeah. I know, I'm a pretty boy. Beetle's world, we just all live in it. No, actually, that's Sage. He's a very good boy. He bolts his paws. I have to leave for my morning walk, a little thing for my health. Sun is shining, birds are singing, so the walk may be enjoyed. It sounds like the walk will be very joyful. Very joyful. I hope you have a great walk and the rest of your morning and day. And thank you so much for stopping in. I look forward to uh, look forward to see. Blah, 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 blah. I look forward to seeing more of your art. Um, anybody that didn't see, Great is a phenomenal pen artist. I've wanted a snake for a while, probably a corn snake, and I think I'll name it after a seed or nut of some sort if when I get one. Egg corn, gum nut, maybe pine cone. I used to have a corn snake. His name was Noodles. You have a great day, great. Again, thank you so much for stopping in and thank you for sharing your art. I, I really, it's phenomenal, honestly. Um, I used to have a corn snake. They're very, if you've never had it, have you had a snake before? If you haven't, they're the perfect snake to begin with. There once was a bittersweet man and they called him Lemon Boy. Yeah, I know. So original, right? I'm sure you've never heard that one 10,000 times. Then I had a ball python. What was she? Her name was Gertrude. And she was a mocha... Shoot, she was a mocha something, so she was like that brownish gray with yellow on her. Um, and then I had, I had a rainbow boa, and why is her name slipping my mind? She 
she had the best name and I cannot think of what it was for the life of me. What was her name? I don't know. I the more I try to think of it the I found out that my friends I haven't had one before but I have done Yeah, corn snakes are for sure they're like the puppy dogs of snakes. So if you start with the corn snake, they're the easiest and like I said usually most docile and stuff. Um Gertrude I had a banana Ball Python. His name was Lieutenant Dan. Um, is that all the snakes I had? I had another snake that was a rescue. He was also a ball python. I can't remember his name either. What the heck? So I had Gertrude, Noodle, Rainbow Boa, Lieutenant Dan. I had five snakes. I can actually get a snake registered as an emotional support animal here, which comes with fun rice. Yeah, that's for sure. I actually, um, so I always worked at a hospital before when I lived in my home state, Wisconsin. And, um, when I was the activity director, I did a, um, what did I call it? It was like an animal or zoo day, like kind of like, you know, when they bring dogs or cats or whatever into hospitals for to visit everybody and stuff but I did like a whole day out of it and I brought all my pets in well not all of them I brought some of the pets I had at the time so I brought rabbits I brought one of the snakes I brought one one or two of the rats I brought the uh, leopard gecko I brought a bearded dragon Basically, it was mostly reptiles, and then, um, I think I brought my dog, but then I just took him home. He wasn't there all day. I brought, yeah, I think I brought Edgar, actually. No, I didn't have Edgar at the time, did I? Yes, I did. Yeah, I definitely had Edgar at the time. Um, yeah, I did, I did bring Edgar in because he's a pit bull and there's all the uh, misconceptions about pit bulls. So I brought in a, a lot of animals that most people are either scared of or um, think are gross or whatever. And I didn't bring in my iguana though. Um, so it was really cool to see like all the elderly people who have been scared of these animals or snakes or a rat or whatever and then just hang out with the rat on their shoulder for the rest of the day and just loving it. So that was a really fun day.
failing. Nobody? So I don't think restaurants and other establishments have to allow ESAs here, but for one example, your rental agreement by law has to allow you. Right, yeah, I know that's a thing. I do believe since they're not the emotional support versus um, the, what's it called, um, service animal, as opposed to the emotional support animal have different uh, whatever that they have to legally allow. That's how it is here anyway. Supports the stress of falling out of it. Are you tired of me yet? I'm a little sick right now, but I swear when I'm ready, I will fly us out of here. Wrapping my head, but I don't want to fall asleep just yet. 
Oh, hey, Silky. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> Fuck, the airlines is cheating on you. Welcome, 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 everybody. Let me... Thank you, Silky. Silky is super into like everything space and everything right now. Um, Kerbal Space Program, uh, also like a Borean, anything to do with space probably. <laughs> We've got beef in chat. But yeah, go ahead and give Silky a follow. He's a. Uh, Chief flight, I was the chief flight officer for his space program. He's very into, uh, yeah, Kerbal Space Program right now. And I know, what, they're coming out with a new one sometime? Maybe next year or something? I don't remember when it was. Okay, so I just need to add a thing. February, the second one already came out? Oh, it must just be in like Super Beta or something? Oh, okay, Super Early Access, okay. Well, I was misinformed by somebody, Silky. Hardest mechanic brought us luck so we could finally land the plane. Well, great, that's awesome. Thank you, TARDIS. Artist, is that how you say that? Sorry if it's not. I was morale officer. Brought this back so we could finally land the plane. I was trying to land at the Badlands. It was forever away. Yeah, that's how you say it. Doctor Who fan here. Gotcha, okay. And they gave the assistance from the cockpit of the plane. Nice work, everybody. Okay, so I'm just finishing this one right here. I didn't really know what else to do with it, so I just chopped it all off and ended it. I'm just gonna add a hang. You know what? Maybe I should do like a braided hanger or something different. Wait, what is happening here? Toby talked me into wanting to play flight simulator, so I have to buy $2,000 in flight equipment. Right. It's only like 80 bucks. At that point, just buy an old Cessna and nail it to the dining room floor for a stick. 
I need the yolk and all, Toby said. It is almost entirely necessary for MFS. I don't know what any of this is. Now, mate, if you're going to start somewhere with flight sims, buy a Logitech Extreme 3D Pro. Best base level joystick there is. Even I still use mine to Okay. Cost you less than $40 US. Yeah, I'm being flight sims. I have no clue what any of you are talking about, but I am just happy to be here. No, you're not gonna hold it. Okay, no. I would say just smile and nod, but Sophie might take that as permission to remortgage the house for his cockpit. <laughs> yeah. You're the frugal one? No. All I spend money on is the animals. I've stayed up all night watching his eight and a half hour stream. It's now 9.23 a.m. for me. Oh my goodness. Oh, awesome, Toby. That's super sweet of you for doing this up. I keep trying... Trying to tell people they need to sub silky. You two are a perfect match, to be honest, like yin and yang, which are to properly translate heaven and earth. Yin is earthly things, and yang is of the sky, heavens. Yeah, thank you for that. that that's probably, I want to say that might be the best compliment we've ever received as a couple, huh? I only discovered Sophie because another streamer I was watching raided him and I followed and subbed. Well, that's awesome. That, it worked out great then. Oh, yeah, Linux Gang Guru Gamer. Yeah, he's cool stuff. Oh, thank you, Tardis. Thank you so much. Appreciate the follow. As I'm braiding from my mouth. Super cool. <clears throat> but seriously, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Anxiety, tossing, turning in your sleep. 
It's very hard when I can't see what I'm creating. Right here, it's perfect grade except for just one spot right here, so, which is not okay with me. Goblin Yin Space Nut Yang. Love it. It's actually, <clears throat> Coral, what you're saying is actually like completely kind of our dynamic too, actually. I just searched for Kerbal and Twitch and found Silky. Then I found Sage and Rouge Chat. That makes sense. I think I was the only one who stuck around since the first raid to the end. Yeah, I mean to stick around from a raid for an eight hour stream, that's a that's a that's a feat right there. You need an award. What was, um, Linux playing? Same game, or? Okay. Do you have KSP2 yet, or no? I just found it fun after all. I have nothing else to do. Why is it silent? Why is there no music? The end of that? Playlist? Really? What do you wait? Why haven't you gotten to yet? Do you want to get like deeper and farther into just KSP first? Or what do you, why not to? Like, what is your reasoning? Oh, because you're frugal. Oh, why? How much does the game cost? Why did the video pause? Or, I mean, the music. I am just a fool to keep on chasing after nothing great. You are just a fool to keep pretending that you love me. I it's 50 bucks, whatever, bro. You are not being frugal. Stop it. Call me 
Will the price go up as it gets, like, as they develop it more? I wanted it to be more frugal to buy it now than pay more for it later. Okay, time for more coffee. I'm more awake, but I'm still dissociating hardcore. Oh yeah, go have some more coffee. I still don't have KSP2. I've, I've had KSP1 since release, and it turned out awesome. I'll wait a few months yet to see how the new devs work. Usually early access doesn't change price. It'll remain the same. However, the KSP team has said that the price will go up at official release. So you need to get it pre-release. I mean, you don't need to, but... I bought it at launch and I only played for two hours because it instantly, it's instantly buggy and almost unplayable. Which seems crazy because 60 to 80 is what AAA games cost. Sorry, I have no... Hello, sorry, I have no audio. Oh, that's right, you're listening to a record, right? I'm a dumb teen boy, I eat sticks and rocks and mud I don't care about the government and I really need a hug I feel stupid, ugly, pretend it doesn't bother me I'm not very strong, but I'll fuck you up if you're mean, so bugs Right Is 
it harder to start or finish a weaving? I'm not familiar with them. So macrame is actually not weaving. It is all knots. Um, it's very similar to weaving, except you use knots instead of weaves. Um, is it harder to start or finish? It's harder to, you mean in the aspect of like how so? What like in what way do you mean that? Like with the actual chords, is it easier to start or finish, or with um like what aspect? Ah, what exactly do you mean? Yeah. Also, vinyl pan here too. transcribed it's not weaving because you're actually tying knot exactly yeah you're tying knot all of all of this is it's all knots don't look at it right now it's, I have to cut things but yeah it's all knots but it is very similar to weaving Planning a macrame and setting the foundation or seeing it through to the end once the foundation is done. I would say, um, in th if that's the question you're asking, planning. Planning is harder. Oh, gotcha yeah that's right thank you I forgot that I forgot that they couldn't hear even though they just said that so thank you for that so like for instance this one hang on they're in the wrong spots right I didn't really plan out. Well, my plan was to, my plan initially with this one, I was gonna do a triangle this way and then do the opposite, like, so it would be mirrored and then kind of just do like a rectangle shape. But as you can see, that's not at all what ended up happening. This is what ended up happening. I can show you closer if you like will allow. And there's another cat by the way. And so hang. I'm not really sure if my words make sense to you. I don't know if this is a better view of it or not. Maybe if I get out of the Now I'm blocking the light. There's a little corner safe just for you. That's better. There we go.
because that transcript was. Right. This one, let's see. When I say it's far planning, absolutely, yes. This one she's fiddling with right now wasn't really planned, or at least didn't go to plan. Yes, that's correct. I'm horrible at planning, and I usually forget the plan the moment I try to execute. That's where I like doing it. So yeah, for this one, I had a plan, started doing it, and just completely switched my plan after that. See you, Toby. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, that works. Uh, Coral, that works. That's fine, short, quick to the point. Thank you. Last time I saw that, it was lots of low-hanging threads. Yes, they're all right here. I cut them off. I also did this, not that one, I also did this one earlier. Go. Usually these little ones, the color switches up when I get closer, but... Oh well, it's alright. And then this is a plant hanger I made yesterday. My cord, I don't know, Coral, if you were here or not. I wing it too, and I'm a hand so so, so is uh, yeah. I do all my planning in my head, which, as an observer, can be rather complex. And then I go by measure and yeah, measure and mark. She cut the threads short since she changed her plan the moment she started. Yeah, exactly. It seems to come together rather quick once you reach that three quarter stage on the green one. Yes, it did. That would make a great Why w is COD Call of Duty? Have a record to track this word up if you want to check. I plan and think in my head more so than right. A cod piece is well. It's a covering, kind of like a loincloth. Okay. It's a prosthetic diptych from the Ethiopian era. Gotcha. This would make, yeah, it would. You, do you need one? Because I can make you one. That's funny. Did I say Ethiopian? Did I say Ethiopian? <laughs> I probably did, knowing me. 
Yeah, sounds about right. Yep. I 1000% believe you. That sounds accurate to me. That's funny. I can't read, okay? I just can't read. What time is it? Oh, it's almost 2 a.m. I could probably go to bed. I wonder if anybody... Sorry for the mispronunciation. At least it's a good thing that we can repeat it. Oh, boy. Read, can't walk. You, you know, it's funny that <laughs> Coral, it's very funny that you asked that. I go through periods of time where I have really bad um, eating experiences, um, such as swallowing. So, a lot of times I have to go to, I think it's more so to do with my anxiety, but. A lot of times I actually do have to go to, like, I'm sure I have one in here. Like these. I'll drink my meals a lot of times instead of eating so that I don't have to worry about choking when I swallow. So it's actually hilarious that you said that. I'm a baby, okay? I'm just a little baby. But yeah, I had this really weird period of time where everything I ate, I don't know if you can see me at all. Yeah, I can. Where everything I ate, I would, I couldn't swallow it. Like I could swallow it, but I felt like I was choking. And I had to see like a gastro uh, enterologist and everything. And they ran all these tests and they did all this stuff. And yeah, I do have really bad GERD, but I've been on medicine for that for years. Um, so they tested that and saw that, but they're like, um, do you happen to have anxiety? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, are you medicated for it? I was like, not currently. I always, I was before, but I'm not currently. So that's when I got back on my anxiety medication. So you can't walk reliably, correct? Can't read well. I can actually read well usually, but right now, no. And can't eat solid foods all the time, correct? Yes. I'm very clumsy. I'm an infant. Yes, just a, I'm just a newborn. That's funny. Oh, core memory unlocked. I used to read my favorite books, Badger's Bath Time, by literally reciting the words from the hundred times I'd had it read to me. And at one point, my mom was very surprised to see this. Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah, but it was like that one book that you read all the time or was read to you all the time and you memorized it. I bet she was like, wait, what? Yeah, they will try to put you on some heavy stuff like Prozac, but that stuff should be last for the court. Oh, I'm not on any, um, yeah, I'm not on Prozac. I can't, I can't do any SSRIs or SNRIs. They mess me up, uh, really bad and put me into, like, uh, robotic or zombie state. I have no emotion or feeling, nothing. It just ceased to merely exist on I, all of them. I know exactly what each page said, and this is how I taught myself to read.
some self-validation Tell me about the things I love The world simply needs more attention Yes, I am I also grow most of my own vegetables so I know they are good I tried, they tried to put me on Prozac, but I started surfing, and the rest is, what? Cruzy. Also grow most of my own vegetables, so I know they are good. Yeah, growing your own food is the best. Suggestions. I don't know of anybody that's online right now to rate to. Um, uh, let me look. I guess I could go to like the makers crafters section. Probably like now. I, I should probably go to bed. Well, hang on. It, it, they're still chatting. You might have an unorthodox idea. Okay, what is, what's your idea? I mean, it doesn't have to be this second. I can be up in like five to ten minutes. Okay, yeah, I can hang around if you want to get up. Start up, get up, whatever. The goblins board? Okay. By the way, Coral, also my reading right now, I'm just going to give another excuse. I'm not wearing my glasses, which I should be. Um, I just wanted to throw another excuse out, you know, for good, uh... They called you on my suggestion and you called her back. I don't re- I, she's not showing up. Um, let me refresh. Oh, okay, I did follow back. You're right. Okay, I'm going to raid her. Is it a her? I don't know. Raid the goblin. Where is my raid? Sounds good. Yeah, I did follow uh, her back, so let's see. Raid the, what is it? The gob, oops. The goblin's horde, right? You okay. The goblin's horde. Okay, cool. I am raging. Thank you all so much. Hang on, let me stand up. Thank you all so much. Coral, thank you for sticking around. Uh, one of these days, I need to catch one of your streams. Um, but yeah, anyways, have a great time. 
doing whatever you do.